Hey guys, it's Hugo Igro coming at you with a new grow report from Purple City Genetics. This is the Gorilla Glue number four. This is a cut that they have. Um, I'm not sure if they're still releasing it, but they did last year and the year before. And uh, she won a festival in 2015, I believe, or 2014 in San Francisco. And uh, here she is. I mean, she was just gorgeous, a treat to grow, very, very easy. Um, reacted very well to nutrients. I used uh, Heavy 16 and this round uh, about the last four weeks I went very heavy on the teas to try to see if that would uh, bring out some good flavor and good aromas and what I got was just a very super earthy very sour fruit um, and a bit of coffee just a gorgeous gorgeous smell anytime you get close to her look at those buds just giant giant buds very happy with her um, I topped her about eight times, and like I said, it took her 63 days. The last 14 days or so, about 13 days, I started the flush. I wanted to make sure I got all the sugars and carbs out of the leaves uh, to make sure that when I did begin the drying process, I would get the cleanest and smoothest smoke. And uh, it worked out perfect. Um, I got a nice ripening on the branch, as you see the yellowing throughout the whole canopy. I think that uh, if I run her again, I'm going to maybe start the flush about a day or two before to see if I can get more of that yellowing throughout. But uh, all in all, I'm very happy with her. And uh, I should have a smoke report once all the flowers are dried here in the next, I'd say, four weeks or five weeks. So stay tuned. But I uh, just wanted to come with you and show you this. If you are a Gorilla Glue fan like me, you're excited. So like I said, stay tuned here for the next uh, three or four weeks and I'll have that smoke report on the Gorilla Glue. Stay uh, high and happy growing, you guys. See you guys soon.